You have a pending or approved I-129F petition for your K-1 fiancé visa case. You wonder whether because of Trump's executive orders, U.S. Embassy or Consulate suspended scheduling K-1 visa interviews and approving K-1 visa cases. Hi, I'm Jay Francis Lee. I'm immigration attorney in Chicago, Schaumburg, Illinois, and Madison, Wisconsin. I am also a college professor and first-generation immigrant. Today, I'm going to explain whether K-1 visas are banned by Trump's executive orders and discuss challenges of the K-1 visa process due to COVID-19. Is the K-1 visa banned by the April 22, 2020 executive order? The answer is no. On April 22, President Trump signed Proclamation 114, restricting the entry of the immigrants who are outside the United States and did not have valid immigrant visa or an official travel document on April 23rd and thereafter. However, non-immigrant visas were not suspended. The K-1 visa is non-immigrant visa thus not affected by April 22nd executive order. Is the K-1 visa banned by the June 22nd, 2020 Executive order? Answer is no. On June 22, President Trump signed Proclamation 152. President Trump's new proclamation extended the previous proclamation until December 31, 2020, and also barred entry to United States for H-1B, H-2B, L, and certain J non-immigrant visas. The K-1 visa was not listed in the suspended list K-1 visa is not affected by the June 22 executive order. How has COVID-19 affected K-1 visa cases? On March 20, 2020, U.S. embassies and consulates suspended routine visa services, halting all K-1 visa interviews. As of today, most consular posts have scheduled interviews on a very limited basis for emergent cases. Prior to COVID-19, it took about three months for USCIS to review and approve I-129F petitions, but it is taking longer now. How do I extend my K-1 visa petition? One of the common concerns is what to do when approved I-129F petition expires. The petition is valid for four months from the date of approval by USCIS. You have two options to be revalidate the petition. Before your interview, you may try to contact the embassy or consulate to revalidate the petition. On the day of your interview, a consular officer may also extend the validity of the petition. Is the K-1 visa affected by coronavirus executive orders? In some countries, yes. President Trump has signed numerous proclamations since January 31, 2020. K-1 visa cases from China, Iran, countries in the European Shenzhen area, Ireland, United Kingdom, and Brazil are subject to the coronavirus travel bans. K-1 visa holders are not listed in the exempted list of all coronavirus executive orders. Even if you have approved K-1 visa, you're not allowed to enter the United States directly from the countries listed in the coronavirus travel bans. Is K-1 visa banned by Muslim travel ban? In some countries, yes. President Trump signed Presidential Proclamation 9983 known as Muslim Travel Ban 3, on January 31, 2020. A waiver is required if it is applicable to your case. Can K-1 visa be reissued? Answer is probably yes. An approved K-1 visa is valid for six months, during which the foreign fiancé must enter the United States to get married. However, if you are not allowed to enter the United States, due to U.S. or your home country's travel bans and your K-1 visa expires, then you may ask the embassy 
or consulate to reissue it. Stay safe and be well, Francis Law Center. We are open to assist with your K-1 visa cases. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. Thank you.